uh, in the for this class in this class we are going to discuss about theories of indicators there are two theories of indicators one is haswell's theory and another one is quinonoid theory before going to discuss these theories we should know what is indicators the indicator is a substance which is used to fix the end point in a tight region that means for example uh, if we take uh, phenethylin methyl orange so they are all indicators these are all the indicators are used to fix the end point in a tight region that is in the titrimetric analysis therefore indicator is a substance used to fix the end point so that is uh, indicator is a substance uh, used to uh, fix the end point in a tight region so i told that there are uh, two theories of uh, indicators the one is haswell's theory the another one is quinonoid theory this haswell's theory is also uh, it is the concept of acid base so uh, this is the concept of acid base that is the acid base concept of indicators uh, haswell theory explains about uh, the acid base concept of the indicators now we shall discuss uh, these theories one by one first oswald theory what is oswald theory so i told that uh, already uh, that is the oswald theory is based on acid base that is the acid base concept of indicators uh, or uh, here used in oswald's theory so according to uh, this concept the indicators uh, themselves uh, are cons uh, i mean are considered as acids or bases for example if the acid form gives the basic form so acid dissociates and will give the basic form though acid if uh, if the acid dissociates that will give the h plus and the basic form so here when acid form uh, is dissociated and is giving the h plus ion and the basic form here if you see this the acid form will be in one color and the basic form in an another color so acid form is in one color and the basic form is in the another color say for example if you take the phenethylene so na the phenethylene is uh, written as hph so this is an acid so it exists in one color and it dissociate uh, and will give the h plus and the ph minus this is the basic form so it is in the another color that is if you take um, the phenethylene phenethylene uh, in acidic form it is in it is colorless and if it undergoes into the basic form that 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 means the acid form of the phenethylene is dissociated the, and giving uh, h plus and the ph minus so the basic form will be that is pink color here uh, this color change of uh, acidic and uh, basic um uh, basic uh, form of uh, phenethylene is due to the common ion effect so 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 that is the common ion effect of uh, that is the equilibrium shifts to the leptin acid solution that is if we take uh, hcl 
or uh, uh, in the titration if you take hcl so that uh, equilibrium shifts to the uh, left ear and it comes here and it will be colorless and therefore the indicator exists as undissociated uh, form therefore the phenophthalein is colorless in acidic solution so in alkaline uh, solution if you take uh, for example uh, for example if you take hcl and NaOH. So, um, here uh, that uh, in alkaline solution in NaOH, um, the OH ions of the base uh, combine with the H plus, the presence of uh, the OH minus in NaOH, there is a presence of OH minus, it will combine with this H plus and uh, this OH uh, minus ions of uh, the base uh, combines with H plus ions and form water molecule. So it, it forms water molecule. Therefore, the equilibrium shifts to the right side. Okay, so here uh, it comes into the right side. Here we have the equilibrium comes uh, like this. Here, here we have mentioned this, this pH minus ion are uh, produced. So therefore, the phenolphthalein is pink in alkaline solution. Uh, here I have given uh, the structure of uh, phenolphthalein. This is the structure of phenolphthalein. Here we have the three benzene ring and two benzene ring with uh, uh, OH group, uh, and the another one benzene group is the ring form. And it is in the acidic condition. This is in the acidic condition. It will be like this. And if it had base into this. In acidic condition, it is colorless. And if we had uh, base into this, if the alkaline solution, uh, in the alkaline solution, it becomes dissociated like this. It becomes into the CO minus ion here and it will combine with Na plus and this is COO minus. And this is alkaline condition or basic condition. In alkaline condition, it exists in the pink color. So um, these color changes in acidic and basic medium uh, of uh, phenolphthalein um, is due to the common ion effect. Already I told you common ion effect. So the equilibrium shifts to the left in acid solution therefore the indicator exists as undissociated therefore the phenolphthalein is colorless in acidic solution and in alkaline solution uh, NaOH uh, has the OH minus ion so OH minus ions of uh, the base combine with H plus uh, produced by the acid ions and uh, form water therefore the equilibrium shifts to the right so here uh, the pH minus ion that is this ion, this is pH minus ion. This pH minus ion is produced. So therefore the phenolphthalein is pink in color. So these are the color changes uh, uh, happens due to the common ion effect so that we should know about what is common ion effect. Now we shall see what is common ion effect. Suppose if you take uh, AgNO3, uh, so that is Ag uh, silver nitrate, Ag, NO3. So is added to a, a saturated solution of uh, AgCl and we are adding this is with the saturated solution of AgCl. So it is have, uh, often uh, described as the source of a common uh, ion uh, that is Ag plus. Here we have the here it is dissociated into Ag plus and NO3 minus and Ag plus and Cl minus here the common ion is Ag plus. So, so in the definition we can say that a common ion is an ion that enters the solution from two different sources. Here we have Ag plus ion. This is one of the sources. We are getting Ag plus in this and this is another source in the solution and we are getting the same Ag plus in this uh, source also. So this Ag plus ion is called common ion. So if we take another one example, that is the solution to which both the uh, NaCl, if we take NaCl and AgCl, 
here there is a common ion Cl minus and here we have Cl minus Ag plus and it dissociates like uh, Na plus and Cl minus here we have the common ion uh, Cl minus so here uh, due to this common ion there is an effect of uh, common ions on solubility product of, uh, of the equilibrium as already we saw that so due to this common ion effect only there is the color change in and the uh, indicator that is the phenaphthalene so uh, the phenaphthalene is uh, is in uh, colorless in acidic condition and uh, pink in the basic condition and let us take uh, another example uh, for uh, uh, acid base titrations uh, indicator and we shall discuss the Oswald's theory so here we have taken the methyl orange uh, simply we can donate that is the methyl oranges uh, MeOH uh, that gives Me plus and OH minus it is a short form of the methyl orange uh, so here here the methyl oranges uh, yellow in the basic form and red in acidic form so this is yellow in basic form and it undergoes so the dissociation and it gives uh, me plus and oh minus so this me plus is in it will be in uh, red color so th this is in acidic form so so this we are saying so here in the acidic form the oh uh, minus ions uh, combined with h plus ions of uh, the acid suppose if we take hcl as acid uh, in the tit uh, titration here we it gives the h plus so this oh minus is combined with the h plus and produces uh, water molecule there the equilibrium shifts to the uh, right side um, then therefore the uh, then if you take the uh, me plus ion uh, so produced therefore the methyl oranges are red in acidic condition so here uh, red in acidic conditions so this color change is also due to the uh, common ion effect so already we know what is common ion effect uh, the equilibrium shifts to the left in alkaline solution uh, that is in if it doesn't any if we had the NaOH we had NaOH and it comes into the MeOH form that is the methyl orange form and uh, therefore uh, the indicator remains as undissociated therefore the methyl oranges yellow in alkaline solution that is the basic solution so if you take uh, an example here uh, this is the uh, structure of uh, methyl orange uh, here uh, the methyl orange is in the yellow color so if we had uh, the acid so that is H plus that is this H plus uh, is combines with the nitrogen and forms like this when it combines with nitrogen here the deficiency of uh, electron for the nitrogen so that it take the these electrons will shift to here and this will comes here and then here we have the lone pairs of electron and it will come here so and it will give this uh, form of ions ion of uh, methyl orange this form is in or uh, the color is red so this is in um, the acidic form suppose if we uh, if it combines with the base and it gives the, again the methyl orange so it becomes into the alkaline condition so it is in yellow color so now we understood uh, what is uh, the concept of uh, acid base using Oswald's uh, theory and then we shall move into the another theory uh, that is uh, quinonoid theory 
so according to quininoid theory so there are uh, two types of uh, compounds benzenoid and quininoid compounds uh, the principle behind the uh, quininoid theory is that uh, if the compounds having the benzenoid that is the benzene like uh, structure then uh, uh, they are the colorless or exist in the light color if uh, uh, the compounds having quininoid that is the quininoid uh, structure it is like uh, quinone uh, structure these are uh, these quinoids are the color so these are uh, colored and these are all the quinone like so that means which it uh, this theory says that if the compound has benzene like structure then it will be uh, colorless and if it has the quinonoid structure that is quinone like structure then uh, the compound will be that will be in the colored form so here it is because uh, here the indicator exist uh, um, as in the equilibrium so if it exists in the equilibrium uh, mixture of uh, the two uh, tautomeric forms so namely if we uh, the, namely the benzenoid and the quinonoid uh, form here uh, the quantity of the particular form uh, varies uh, with the ph of uh, the solution therefore the color also changes here the uh, qual i mean the quantity of a particular form varies with the ph so that uh, there is the color uh, changes also occur uh, with the ph so now we know what the quinonoid theory says now we shall uh, take an example and explain uh, the quinonoid theory uh, here uh, we have taken an example that is uh, phenaphthalein if you see the phenaphthalein in the structure of phenaphthalein there are uh, three benzene uh, rings are there so so that it is the uh, it is benzenoid form and also it is in the acidic condition so we know the already that is the colorless if you see here in this there are uh, two benzene ring in addition to that there is a presence of quinonoid form so that so it is quinonoid compound it is pink in color so this form is quinonoid so according to um, quinonoid theory it says that if you have the benzenoid if the compound exist in the benzenoid form then it is colorless and if it exist in quinonoid form then it exist in the color um, here uh, we have taken an example phenaphthalein as a benzenoid form so that uh, in acidic condition so that it is uh, colorless and this phenaphthalein is in the basic form it is in quinonoid form so that uh, it uh, becomes into the color uh, form that is the pink color so let us take an another example uh, to explain quinonoid theory so if we see the uh, structure of methyl orange in the structure of methyl orange we have uh, it has it has two benzene ring so that here uh, uh, no uh, quinonoid uh, structure so it is in the benzene uh, like structure so it is benzenoid benzenoid form and if you see uh, the if we it add into the alkaline condition if it uh, sorry acidic condition it goes into the uh, like this the structure changes already we have discussed um, when you are uh, um, discussing about uh, oswald's theory here it undergoes into the this is not the it undergoes into the this quinonoid form this is the quinonoid form so quinonoid form so it exist in a red in color so from this we could understand that that is if uh, the compound is in the benzenoid form that may be the colorless or the light color like yellow 
and if the compound uh, exists as the quinonite form the compound is the colored here the red, uh, red color so here we took the concept of uh, benzenoid and the quinonite so here uh, the heat indicator changes its color between two specific uh, pH values uh, this pH range between which the uh, indicator changes its color is known as uh, the useful range of pH of the uh, indicator. The color change happens for the methyl orange uh, so is take the methyl orange NEOH. So the color change happens for here for this is the pH range is 3 to and if you take the phenolphthalein, so the color change for this is in eight point zero to nine point eight uh, pH. So, so in other words, we can say that the phenolphthalein will show the uh, acid color in solution, uh, whose pH is below eight and it will show the base color uh, that is the pink in solution whose pH is uh, above 9.8 and similarly the methyl orange if you take the methyl orange the methyl orange will show this is the methyl orange this methyl orange uh, shows that the acid color uh, uh, in solution whose pH is below uh, 3.0 that is the acid color is red here and it will show the base color that is yellow uh, in solution the pH ranges uh, 4.0 here it is the uh, pH ranges um, nearly and below 3.0 so okay students so, so in this class we learnt about uh, the theories of indicator what is indicator and uh, the, uh, what are the types of uh, theories of indicators so they are Oswald's theory and quinonoid theory and uh, we have discussed uh, about the Oswald's theory what is Oswald's theory here uh, the Oswald's theory is uh, based on acid based concept of indicators uh, for that we have taken example that is the phenaphthalene and uh, the methyl orange so here uh, the phenaphthalein um, is in the colored form in the uh, so colorless form in the acidic condition and it is uh, color form in the basic condition and that is the pink color and if you take the quinonide quinonide is in uh, yellow color in the basic condition red color in the acidic condition we saw so we know that the benz uh, according to quinonide theory benzenoid is uh, light color or colorless and uh, so that uh, that is what we have discussed uh, uh, in this class and so these are the color changes uh, the mainly due to the uh, common ion effect and we have discussed about the common ion effect also so and we have discussed uh, uh, this Oswald theory and the quinonide theory using methyl orange here the methyl orange is uh, in benzenoid form so it is uh, yellow in color and it uh, if it uh, goes into the acidic uh, condition then it forms the quinonide form then the color of uh, uh, methyl orange in acidic form is red so, so this is called uh, this is what uh, we have uh, discussed about the quinoid theory so i hope you understood thank you